Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a very special video because this is going to be my first ever Q&A. Uh, so this is to celebrate hitting 150 subscribers. Uh, I got all these questions from Instagram. And yeah, I got a bunch. So this is actually only going to be part one. I'm going to answer 10 questions in this video and answer the rest of them in a video coming out on Wednesday. Uh, so uh, watch out for that. If your question doesn't get answered here, it'll get answered in that video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first question, how are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I feel like I'm at a good point right now where I'm very happy with the present moment, but also I'm looking forward to the future, which can be difficult to like balance sometimes. So yeah, uh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Next is a question from Manaswi. She asked, uh, what is your favorite book and what have I learned from it? Uh, I would say my favorite book is definitely Atomic Habits by James Clear. Atomic Habits is a great book because it really sort of changed my whole perspective on how like positive change can be made in your own life and like self-improvement and how important it is to make good habits easier and bad habits more difficult and how essentially humans you know we only have so much willpower so we need to make it we need to make the willpower we have count if that makes sense so yeah I definitely say that's my favorite book just because of how like uh, important it's been in sort of forming my like whole uh, sort of lifestyle and how I look at improving myself uh, then I have a question from Zara. Uh, favorite Rutgers memory? Uh, my favorite Rutgers memory, probably, if I had to pick one, it's hard because I have a lot of good memories, but probably the Rutgers-Michigan State basketball game last year, or actually this year, I guess. Um, I was at the rack for that game, and it was just electric. Uh, Rutgers won, I think, by 11 points. Cliff and Paul were really going at it, and it was it was just a great game. It was a great atmosphere, great win. Uh, so... Overall, I'd probably say that's my favorite record memory so far. Next, I have another good question from Manaswi. She asked uh, misconceptions about college life. I would say the main misconception people have is that it's all like partying and alcohol and all that, it's like just having fun all the time. When in reality, while well, that is a part of the college experience, I would say most people would prioritize academics like way above all that. Um, like most people are here at college to get a degree. So that's the main priority people have in their lives. So um, obviously that's not as interesting, but... The thing is, you often make your best memories just like studying with friends or, you know, just trying new restaurants or stuff like that, which, you know, partying. Yeah, it's fun. I've made memories partying, but it's, you know, it's not the main thing that college is all about. Then I have a question from Sophia, uh, who's the coolest person on earth. Uh, favorite and least favorite parts of Rutgers. Um, so I would say my favorite part, I think like in general, not like specific areas um my favorite part is probably the diversity um not just of like you know demographically speaking but also just in terms of like the types of people you find like interest wise right like you'll find so many different types of people if you want to make you know if you want to meet people who are any type of way you can find them at Rutgers right I think that's really beautiful and I think it's really um what makes the campus such a like vibrant community like there's just so many different types of people um and then my least favorite is probably the administration. Uh, I made my last video was all about this. Uh, the Rutgers administration is pretty incompetent and greedy, in my opinion. And I think it should be more accountable to students. And um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Rutgers administration. But yeah, that, those are my most and least favorite things about Rutgers. Um, is the campus dining good? Uh, that's a question from Riley. Uh, I'd say generally speaking, yeah, it is pretty good. Um, obviously, I don't have a frame of reference because I've never gone to another college. But um, I think I've been mostly happy with dining services. I used to make the food reviews on my channel a while ago. So if you ever want to watch those, I might bring them back, actually, because um, uh, they were some, they're fun videos to make. But yeah, um, the food is pretty good for the most part. Uh, I would recommend sticking to Libby Dining Hall because that's the best dining hall uh, if you want to get food. But yeah, I'd say overall, the food's pretty solid. Next, I have a political question. <gasps> from Sean, who asks, would you pack the Supreme Court? Um, and my answer is probably not. Because while the current Supreme Court makeup is pretty awful, uh, the thing is, if we just pack the Supreme Court, while short term, that might be a solution. Long term, it would be a big issue because whenever the ruling party or the party in power in the executive and legislative branch got a Supreme Court ruling they didn't like, they just pack the court, right? So it'd be a big hit to checks and balances. Um, you know, if the shoe's on the other foot, let's say, like, the conservatives were in power in the executive and legislative branches when Obergefell versus Hodges was uh, determined, what's stopping them is just packing the court and, um, you know, overturning gay marriage. So it's like, yeah, I don't, 
I don't know. Probably not. Then I have a question for Emma. Best restaurant in New Brunswick. Best restaurant in New Brunswick. That's tough. There's a lot of restaurants I really love in New Brunswick. But if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with Fat Cactus. Fat Cactus is great because they have great food. Uh, they have very good service. And they have just really good vibes. Like It's, it's just a nice restaurant. It's a fun place to go. Um, so it is a little overpriced maybe, but I think it's worth it. Like it's worth the, the cost because the food's good, the service is good and the vibes are good. So, and it's a good location too. And then final two questions. I'm at number nine. Um, if you go to the moon, would you? It's a question from Fiona. Uh, I probably would. Honestly, yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't because that'd be the coolest experience ever. Imagine like just telling people you've been in the moon. Like whenever you're in like a two truths and a lie game, you'd always be able to just drop uh, i was at the moon it, it would be dope like i think that would be like easily the coolest experience you could have as a person just going to the moon um so yeah i would definitely go to the moon if i could um and then final question for this video uh favorite classes at records uh i've had a lot of great classes at records but i'd say the one that stands out the most so far is definitely uh, new jersey politics uh I, I talked about this in my internships video it's really changed sort of the way i look at politics and government and all that stuff it's, it's just a really good class if you if you have any interest in like poli sci or um public policy or any of that it's a great class i highly recommend it uh professor zellner is a great guy um so yeah and then the one i'm looking forward to the most which um i don't know if this is like really in the scope of the question but i, I want to talk about it is this class called uh, organizing for social change um because that's really like i, I love trying to help organize for social change i love trying to impact change um, on a local level and I think this class it's, it's taught by Professor Jen is fine who's like kind of a big deal so um, I'm really excited to uh, take it and hopefully learn how to be a better activist because that's something I take very seriously I think it's a very important part of being a good citizen being you know someone who uh, advocates for change so yeah those are uh, just 10 questions uh, I'm going to answer more on Wednesday uh, but until then I hope you enjoyed this video um, thank you guys so much for having me at 250 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And yeah, uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day. Peace.